If you really want something, you'll lay it all on the line and fight for it. Never give up. The championship this year has been absolutely on fire. The level of the riders across the board is awesome. And the guys have been battling it hard, and I really hope that this race is going to produce that little surprise that we're, we're waiting for. On the chair? Yeah. That way? Yeah. Tiny bit. It cannot get more Western than this. All right. <laughs> and then, it's and like then cowboys the... are going to come in in a minute and. <laughs> <laughs> We are riding into the Alberta Badlands. Here, the traces of primordial winds and relentless waters have carved through the country, crafting a mesmerizing landscape. This is the untamed frontier of Canada, where the spirit of the Wild West still thrives. An ideal arena for the mind-boggling hard enduro dust-up known as Red Bull Outliers. Welcome to round four of the FIM Hard Enduro World Championship. It's quite cool if you think like where our sports brings us at the end to such unique places on the whole world, which is, I would say, pretty rad. Last year was a little bit strange because we came here and didn't see any mountain and I thought, where we can ride here a, a Hard Enduro race. And then we came down this small valley and yeah, it looks so crazy. It's like a little bit like riding on the moon. The terrain is exceptional. It's different to anywhere, very open, obviously no trees, perfect for spectators. A lot of hill climbs. You, know, you can fly straight up one lap and then be crashing down the next, so it's a little bit do or die hill climbs. When you're riding those hills, you have two options. Either you make it up or you don't make it up. You cannot really stop in the middle of it and work your way. You just have to hit it straight or go, go back and do it again. Last year I made one mistake and I lost the race. I was battling for the win and then I did that mistake and then everything gone. So I think it's a race that you can't make any mistake. Like once you make one mistake, you lose so much time. Well done, Mario. Just keep it calm. It's pretty hard. <laughs> I got my knee in. That's what Canada's about. Holy, look at Ryder's bars. Did he just fall? Yeah, he's picking up. <laughs> Can you imagine riding? Oh my god. That ain't gonna happen. Well, you wouldn't finish like that. How did you actually finish last year? Last year, second. Sensitive topic. <laughs> How did that happen? Uh, it was a crazy race. <laughs> Maybe one of the craziest races I've ever had. It was me, Manny, and Mario going back and forth so many times. He's up, he's in. So that's Tristan going back into the lead. Manny's out right. Then I think Mario made a mistake. So then it was me and Manny the last hour, still going back and forth multiple times per lap. Is it gonna be overtake here? Oh! These guys have been battling. And then I came around to uh, right before the extinction loop. There's one more hill, and one of my buddies, who I still bug about this to the day, he was just in the middle of the hill, and I just ran into him and fell down. And by the time I turned around and got going again, Manny was already up, and he actually looped his bike on the final hill. No way! Can Tristan make this? But I was just not quite close enough to get him, so he got the win. I was like maybe 10 seconds behind him. 
And hard enduro to finish that close is almost unheard of. I was so happy when it was in the finish and I came over first because it was quite important for the championship as well last year. Hopefully it's not going to be as tight this year and um, it's not so nerve-wracking for us riders. Here's where it all begins. Before they head to the Badlands, riders will do battle on the city streets of Calgary. That is steep. I was thinking just to, like, to, to go down and to try to jump from this one. Let's see if Billy Sandy. <laughs> Billy Sandy <Samuel> from Shaw. <laughs> <laughs> So Billy picked up a couple of little injuries this year. He's not rode as much as he wanted to as well coming into the season. Skills beyond belief, he can really put it down when he needs to, but I think he just wants that little bit more time outdoors. And Billy's not had the best results overall, but he's been topping up points in the prologues and the qualifications. Racking up FIM points in a Super Enduro style prologue has never been a problem for the three time Super Enduro world champion. It's clear he's comfortable on the unfamiliar streets of Calgary, gunning it for a podium position. But this is Bolt's first Red Bull Outliers, and there's no telling what will happen as the race progresses in his already uneven season. The season's gone uh, quite up and down, really. A uh, bit of a mixed bag. Came in pretty strong and feeling good. I had a mechanical issue in Serbia for the first round, so I uh, only took a 10th place there, which was a little bit frustrating because I felt like I was riding really good there. Esberg went pretty well. I was second, quite a close battle with Manny. Unfortunately, uh, just lost track towards the end of the race after leading it for a long time. And then, uh, unfortunately, I picked up a shoulder injury in between Esberg and Romania. So I came into Romania really physically unprepared. So when I take everything into consideration to be third in the championship and still in the fight to be on the podium, I'm quite happy. So here we go, guys. This is the final Red Bull Outliers prologue. 12 riders speed into the prologue final for some multi-lap mayhem. Billy showing absolute speed through that first section. Bolt leads the way over the obstacles, but it's not going to last long. Manny's just gone through it on Billy. While Manny Lettenbickler is typically a consistent podium contender in these prologues, claiming victory isn't always his norm. But right now, he's leading the other 11 riders through the swift six minutes plus one lap course. Bull bumps rubber with Lettenbickler, furiously trying to take back the lead. Whoa, Billy, with a massive crash. Manny's out front. <laughs> Recovering from the crash just before Tristan Hart can pass, Bolt bulldozes his way back into action. Now it's a battle for second between the British newcomer and the Canadian favorite. Tristan's down! That's Billy going in! With Hart out of the way, it's wide open for Bolt to hunt down Lettenbickler. His motivation, the first FIM points of the race. It's the last lap! Deep from Billy, he's in on the corner! Go, 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 go! They're neck and neck as they fly into the final wall ride. But Manny Lettenbickler secures a well-deserved victory by a narrow margin. He will take the first three FIM points of the event. Bolt earns a hard-fought second place, and local hero Tristan Hart will claim third. Hart has his work cut out for him. He's now only a single point ahead of Bolt in the championship standings, heading into the main event. I think it's going to be hot. <laughs> That's it. 
hot, dusty. Um, did I say hot? Very hot. Don't ask me about any questions of, about Tristan. I'm not going to talk good about him. <laughs> no, that's why I'm asking you about him. <laughs> what do you think about Paul Tristan? I saw him go up that hill over there and it looks like he got pulled up. Did you get pulled up? Yeah. <laughs> Tristan Hart, yeah. It was so cool to have him in this championship this year. The depth of field is so strong, but for me, there's five riders who, who can consistently be on the podium. Tristan's definitely one of them, and he's definitely going to get in the mix and uh, possibly win here. That spirit from the fans going to push him around the race circuit, that's for sure. For me, it's definitely special. I have so many friends and family coming, and it's something I've worked for my whole life. So to be able to showcase what I've worked for my whole life is pretty special. I don't think a lot of people get that opportunity. The event kicks off with an explosive start. The grueling two and a half hour multi-lap race promises a difficult and dusty experience, reaching its pinnacle with the formidable extinction loop. Chaos. Tristan Hartz suffered a poor start that now requires him to embark on a catch-up mission. Amidst the haze and congestion of the initial hill climb, he grapples with the challenging terrain. The race leaders emerge out of the cloud of carnage. It's Billy Bolt followed by Manny Lettendickler, leaving the rest of the pack in the dust. The front runners negotiate the narrow corridors, sandy steeps, and bizarre rock formations that litter the landscape. Manny looking a little bit calmer than Billy there, riding slightly higher line. He knows he's got experience here. Billy's got to find the pace at this race. Finding his pace on a course he's riding for the first time won't be easy. But so far, Bolt is holding his own. Still, Manny's outlier's experience is an asset he's using to his advantage. Nonetheless, the battle for first is on. As fans look on, Letton Bickler launches up the hill. But Bolt finds a better line and takes back the lead. Ooh. Billy through on Manny, Manny through on Billy! It's a battle! Bolt pulls a slight gap and leads the way deeper into the Badlands, a sign his uneven season seems to be moving in the right direction. Yeah, the rest of the season, I want to just try and uh, slowly make some progress on, on getting back healthy. In terms of my riding, it's probably not going to be quite on the limit as it usually is, but I can still ride at a really good level and, and not quite, you know, be taking as much risks as I would usually do. Billy just taking the wrong line there. Manny going through now. Mistake from Billy there. The mistake from Billy will cost him the lead as the front runners descend into a crooked canyon. Just behind is a new threat, Wade Young. Wade O going through. That's Wade Young into second position. You gotta really pump this one. So smooth! Look, Wade Young now in second position wider! Wade Young's move into second is massive for the South African. 40 minutes into the race, he's now chasing down Lettenbigler. 
and as they grind their way up another climb, he's also trying to fend off Bolt. A mistake from one rider is an opportunity for another, and Mario Roman has also joined the party in fourth. Mario, just took it into third. Wade clearing, Spody. That was pretty good. Some epic fights going on here. Mario just trying to nibble it through. We've got local boy Tristan coming in now. Being local has a major advantage. No one knows the terrain better than Tristan Hart. Right in the mix now. Driving that clutch ever so slightly longer than some of the others. Yeah, abusing it really. Despite a challenging start, Hart's impressive climb back into fifth place stands as a testament to his skill. The Canadian fans know it, and they're cheering him on. Look at that crowd going mad for the local boy! Ahead of Hart, Wade Young is in second place riding down a scarred mountainside. But the positions are about to change again. Bolt is back in the game and reclaims second. Young Sherco teammate Mario Roman is also in the mix. Roman's remarkable recovery after an injury ridden Erzberg Rodeo and a seventh place finish at Romaniacs demonstrates his drive and determination. I actually feel super satisfied with what I did in Romaniacs because after the huge crash in Esber, only a month and a half after I was ready to be fighting for the top three positions in the, in the race. I know what is my level and my capabilities to be fighting for the win every race. It's not that you make one race bad and you lose your speeds. Just keep positive and we will try harder for the next races. Right now, Ramon is trying hard to fight his way into third place, and he has the skill and experience necessary to do it. Mario using a lot of experience there, just getting the back wheel in the right place, just to nibble out, not using too much energy. But we've got a dog fight with Wade Young and Tristan Hart here. Tristan passing on Wade. Tristan doing that section better than everybody. Wade getting right on his tail. When riders are in close quarters like this, positions can change in seconds. Wade Young is stuck in a hillside rut and has slid into fifth. Another blow in a season full of hard knocks. I had a bad race in Serbia in the first one. I didn't, wasn't able to finish uh, due to a small mechanical. So yeah, I've just been trying to focus on race by race, even if I am doing well in the championship, just to focus race by race. Yeah, buddy, well done! If things aren't going as planned, you always have another race to redeem yourself and uh, have a better result. So that's pretty much the way I look at it. Come back and try again and improve and be better. Striving to be better is the name of the game. Persistence and determination are characteristics shared by all riders. In moments when everything aligns, when a rider's performance reaches its peak, they can achieve amazing things. A shining example of this is Manny Lettenbigler. Right now, he's once again in the outlier's lead. Yeah, seasons are four. What can I say? 
just nailed it, I would say. We had three races and we had three wins. Always got a bit more confidence after every race. It was also not easy because they all had to defend quite a lot of race wins compared to last year. I would say super nervous before Rapport Oldsburg. I was really, really happy when I, when I got another win there. Here we go, guys. We're into the extinction loop area. What does that make with your like mental energy, mental power, if you get out of a race with such a good position? Definitely the result can push you, but also takes you down a little bit, I would say. Racing or in, in general sport is such a mental thing and you want to always try to be in a good mood and try to like see always the positive things. Sometimes it's pretty hard, especially if you have a hard day and you wake up and you're like, oh man, how should I do another day or how should I keep on going? Manny knows it's safe there now. After two hours of exhausting riding, Letton Bickler is fighting his way through the most daunting section of the track, the extinction loop. As he ascends a mighty incline, Bolt dashes through his dust in pursuit. That's the fight, guys! Roosting his way over the massive mound, Letton Bickler wins that fight. Now he sets his sights on conquering the final hill climb. He's a winner last year, looking to hang on this year, coming down a round, and then he'll do a round here, and then he's got it. There's no margin for error. Bolt is right behind him. Oh, here we go. Pressure mounts as Bolt closes in. It's now or never. Letton Bickler has got to conquer the climb. His triumphant scream speaks volumes. Manny Letton Bickler secures another victory at Red Bull Outliers, his fourth incredible win in a row. Bolt finds a clean line and soars up the slope in one go. It's been a hard-fought race, but he's earned a satisfying second place at his very first Outliers. Speechless. It was almost the same as last year. Four wins in a row. It's damn good. Yeah, it was a pretty good race, that's for sure. Me and Manny pushed the pace early on. It was nice to, to follow. He definitely uh, remembered the track better than me. I made a few mistakes, like every lap I would go the wrong way, but uh, two seconds here in Canada, I'm pretty happy with that. But third place is still up for grabs, with Mario Roman and Tristan Hart locked in a fierce contest just before the finish. Hart desperately wants to make podium at his home race. So there it is, Tristan has snuck into third place. Get on! Well done! He's on! On this last hill climb! Can Mario take you back from Tristan? Tristan doesn't do it! Mario's there! This could be Hart's only chance to secure the third place finish, especially as Roman starts speeding up the hill behind him. Tristan Hart will take a well-deserved third place at his home country race. Mario went for it. If it had opened, he would have been there. He had a gamble. He had to do it. Awesome. Probably maybe the worst race of the year for me for just execution-wise. I didn't execute anything I was supposed to until the last lap, and I started riding somewhat okay, but it's okay. I mean, you can't always ride your best. I'm, I'm not as bummed as I was last year, but, you know, you can always just be better, and I'll just keep shooting for that. 
in the start, everything was so crazy. I get two block pass. I was in the ground rolling and I didn't know how will be the race. Really good fight. I think when you are not winning or you are not in the podium, but you give your all and you are already like 10 seconds from the top guys, I think it's such an amazing job. So super satisfied and keep going. Uh, the rest of the season, hopefully Hispania, my home race will be good. Here are the results from another outstanding Red Bull Outliers. Manny Lettenbickler is first, Billy Bolt is second, and Tristan Hart is third. Lettenbickler's amazing FIM season continues with his fourth win in a row. Bolt has now stolen back second place in the series, but Hart is only a single point behind him. Next, our journey takes us to Spain for the penultimate race of the season, the 24MX Hispania Hart Enduro. The stakes have never been higher. Let Mickler is not only poised for a potentially perfect season, but a victory in Spain could clinch the series for him. Meanwhile, Bolt and Hart continue their fierce battle for second place. Undoubtedly, this promises to be one of the most thrilling and pivotal races yet. You don't want to miss round five of the FIM Hardin Enduro World Championship.